Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 13 Farm to Max here on the Klaus Gaming YouTube channel, your source of Clash of Clans content, tips, tricks, and of course, entertainment. And by the way, if you haven't seen my second channel, Klaus Media, for different games, check out the link in the description. But for today, guys, we actually have a builder available, which is a rare, rare occurrence, but even better is the fact that it was the barracks, the last builder that finished was working on the barracks. So now we're we're finally at peak capacity, okay? We're finally able to train stuff at a, uh, you know, as fast as possible. And I'm trying out a brand new army today. I'm not good with it. I've practiced a few times. Um it's not good. It's a strategy that I've seen around the world basically now. The Yetis, bowlers, queen walk, uh quad quake. I mean, there's a lot of things about this strategy that is very very different than what I'm used to. Also, a uh, huge disadvantage will be that this royal champion is still upgrading. He's got, uh, she's got a uh, 24 plus 8, 32, 32 hours left. Yes. So, unfortunate, but it is what it is, right? We have to wait. So, I say we go out and we just do a few raids. I've got loot, but not too much. We can actually stand to fill up our storages a little bit more. So, let's go ahead and go in. We're in Legend League and um, using a brand new strategy. I mean, how bad is this plan right how dumb why would anybody ever attack without practicing first this is so bad okay anyway let's try this um i'm thinking uh i'm actually yeah i'm actually thinking attacking from the bottom side because then i can get the air defenses and the air defenses don't get my healers that's number one priority don't let the air defenses kill your healers so balloons on either side in case there's a seeking air mine there was one in the middle i'm gonna go ahead and send another balloon down just in case there's another one a little bit further in and the queen should get this um air defense but then the question is oh man this air defense may get my healers this might get a little bit dicey here in a second let's just see what the queen does she may continue to go down i hope she goes down go 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 get away from her there we go raid spell let's go king and let's actually place this um siege barracks down just like so and then let's quad quake okay i'm gonna quad quake into uh, into there, let's go Ice Golem, let's go Bowlers, gonna make sure we get a nice funnel, and then the rest of our Yetis. I'm actually gonna put down a few Wizards and the Grand Warden. There you go. So now, I'm gonna jump in, and then back out of the Town Hall compartment, and rage through that as well. So now, guys, it's all about that Warden ability. Bam! Get some. Cool. So now, uh, where's the King? Where's the king? It's very important. Oh, he's in the middle. Nice. Get, he's in the thick of things, man. That was awesome. Queen Anne, you just step up and take out that town hall. There you go. Well done. So that it's all about the funnel with this strategy. That's what I was told. That's all I was told. So I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen next. Uh, we got the funnel. We got the yetis into the core. I've used all of my spells. It's a little bit quick on the spell deployment. Um, but it looks like things are going fairly well, all things considered. I wish the queen would have jumped back over and gotten those expos, but no, the queen had to do it the hardest way she could find and um, go from the wrong direction. <laughs> uh, but it's it's all good. Look at this. Uh, we got ourselves a 61% with very little experience, actually. That's pretty solid. And we got rid of the eagle, so we can kind of think about our cleanup a little bit. Let me see. Is there any area... That has like no air defense. It's actually right here. Okay, so this baby dragon, get rid of the builder huts, get rid of the archer tower, and then we got quite a bit of base down here and some gold. I do want the gold. Uh, do I have a space for a goblin? I really don't. I really don't have that. Um, yeah, this goblin has nowhere that it can go. What about maybe archers? I can put an archer down there. I can get an archer over here. If I had another uh, air troop, I'd put it down here and get rid of that dark spell factory, but I can't. I'm just trying to get percentage points now, guys. Um, archer, and then maybe a, maybe a wizard. Yeah, there's no real good, simple spot. All right, let's go wizard up here to get this gold. And then this goblin. You know what? Let's just send the goblin right in there. Yeah, the archer is going to kill the goblin. I called it, dude. I told you guys the goblin wasn't going to make it. But let's see if we get a 70%, okay? If we get to get a 70%, that would just be beautiful, okay? That mortar may be a problem. Actually, it looks like the, the bigger problem is going to be time. Oh, no. Come on, archers. You got this. You got this, archers. Yes. Nice. All right. And that'll be it. A 69%. I could have asked for a worse percentage. 
for sure. Uh, but I like to see it. We got a 99% loot bonus from the league. So that works out. Um, what was that? Over five, over 600,000 gold. Quick math. Over 800,000 elixir. And then nine thousand dark elixir gotta love it not bad not bad um i could have again i could have asked for a better raid though it just was weird because i'm not used to the strategy by the way look at this request two yetis one valk one barb rage and a siege barracks and ideally a max siege barracks but you know it's hard to find max siege barracks nowadays i've got eight days left until that is done in my tr in my uh, laboratory so actually that's not max is it no level four is max okay so i'll I get eight days and then I got upgraded again. I got like three weeks to go before my max or my uh, siege barracks are maxed out. That is really, really unfortunate. But guys, okay, so we have this, this sad moment in the video where I've got to say, I'll be right back because I got to wait for my stupid heroes to wake up. But before we do that, okay, before we do that, I'm going to go and do the upgrade, okay? Let's bounce into my progress base and take a look at what we've got. First of all, wall progress is going really well. We've got 32 walls left. Each line is 10, so that's really, really easy math. Um, I would love to upgrade this Royal Champion tomorrow, or very, very soon, so I need to save my Dark Elixir. I've also got extra Elixir, so we should probably upgrade another wall or two. Also, I've got some uh, wall rings, so I'm going to go and upgrade those, or uh, go ahead and use those wall rings right now. Bam. And I don't have any more wall rings, so that was awesome. So now let's go and spend the elixir. There we go. Very, very nice. And, um, wow. Actually, oh my goodness. I've got three. I've got four builders finishing in a 48-hour period. That is horrible. Whoever planned that did a terrible job, okay? Did not plan ahead at all. That was really dumb. Well, okay. I'm going to have to just see past that. I don't have any elixir upgrades anyway, so I might as well continue to invest the elixir into the walls. Uh, but we need to preserve our gold if we're able to, okay? So, I'm thinking Seeking Air Mine, okay? I think they're all level 3. Seeking Air Mine is, I think, the most important trap. Um, and uh, it's it's not that bad. I mean, it's 4.8 million gold. I've got 14.8, so we're going to have 10 million left over in preparation for those four builders we're about to have. Um, and, um, between five and six days left. So this is a good upgrade to do in preparation for what's going to be a crazy next few days. Let's do it. 4.8 million gold in three, two, one, bam. Nice. And that is maxed, right? I didn't even look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So level four is a maxed seeking air mine. Let's go ahead and slap that down. Where do I want to put this? I don't have a super, like, logical spot for this yet, do I? Oh, over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. All right. So, we've already maxed out one of the Seeking Air Mines to level four. So, we're now we're just doing the second one. Good job. Good deal. Good deal. I like it. Cool. So, um, now we have that sad moment where we have to sit and wait for our army. So, guys, I'll be right back once they come back. And we're going to give these Yetis another spin. And, by the way, if you're wondering, like, wait a minute. Why have you not used Yetis? They're legitness. Because I was waiting to max mine. That was it. I was waiting to max mine. I needed them to be maxed in the laboratory before I would use them. And since I'm a free-to-play player, besides the gold pass, um, it took a while to get there. So, yeah. Let's try it now. Let's see how it goes. And the heroes are done! Yes, perfect timing. So now it is time to go try this baby one more time. Remember, Queen Walk into a funneled extra corner and then uh, uh, quad quake into the core sending in the yetis sending in the king if possible um yeah sending in everything so um also okay so this is a good example of a ring base where you may not want to use the siege barracks you may actually want to switch over to a battle blimp because uh, the blimp can send your cc straight to the town hall and in this case it may be necessary i don't know Let's just look at something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. So I can actually reach the queen from here. I can't, though, reach the, the air defense. So that's going to be tricky, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Let's take out this queen, and then where's the clan castle? Clan castle's over here. I don't have a CC luring. I don't have a hog or anything. I'm used to having a hog. That's super weird. All right, well, let's drop a raid spell and take out this enemy queen. And then uh, do I have a wall breaker? I have no wall breakers or anything, bro. That's bad. Okay, uh, let's do uh, let's do quad quake. Let's get those in there. Okay, uh, maybe a, a king on the outside with some like bowler spread. Let's go ice and yes, there we go. So the king's in. I'm gonna go and pop the king's ability because he's being targeted by the eagle right now. Let's do a jump or I'm sorry, rage, and then let's also jump into the uh, 
town hall compartment. There we go. So I got one more rage. Looks like all of the Yeti and everything are going in the wrong direction. That's not the best. I'm gonna go ahead and rage all that up. And I do have the blimp, so I can go ahead and deploy it to hopefully take out the uh, take out the town hall. Also, oh, warden, you're supposed to go with the blimp. So dumb. Okay, well the warden's going with the blimp. Again, dumb, but you know, can't do anything about it now, right? The blimp's actually absorbing all kinds of traps right now, dude. Crazy. I'm gonna go and poison over that so that the skeleton traps don't mess us up too bad. Um, and, oh, come on, guys. You got this. Come on, you got this. Oh, we didn't get the town hall. Dang it, dude. Dang it. Okay, well, I have an idea. I have a plan. I've still got the warden's ability. So, I need the warden to survive. Don't die, warden. Oh, dang it. There was a peck in the CC. I should have put the warden on air. That was my mistake. If I had put the warden on air, you would have followed the blimp instead. Dang it. That was really dumb. Noob mistake, right? Noob mistake. Let's drop the uh, balloons... And then I'm going to put a, I'm thinking a baby dragon. There's no way. I'm trying to absorb all the seeking air mines on the way there. There's probably a bunch of them. Yeah. Let's go and send the baby dragon in there. Um, probably it's going to get roasted super fast, but you never know. Come on, baby dragon. Get a shot off or two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Oh, that was so close. Dang it. <laughs> oh, all right. So sad. Um. Nothing else I can do, really. I can just accumulate some percentage points. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Dang, that was a bummer, guys. So my funnel wasn't set. And that's what makes these types of bases so good, is that they're hard to funnel, right? So uh, that was the whole thing. That The person that taught me, the person that taught me how to do this, they basically said, just funnel, okay? It's all about the funnel. And I didn't do it. I didn't funnel. And we ended up with a one star. Kind of a bummer. I'm trying, though. I really I want to get better with this strategy because I think it's a good strategy. Um, and I'm going to continue to practice. So you guys get to witness both my successes, like my first attack. It was pretty decent. And my fails, like this attack right here against someone called Skywalker. That's a cool name. I like that name. But, uh, but yeah, kind of sad, not, not happy with how that went down. So guys, um, I think that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching it. Be, be sure and tune in for next time as we continue to progress the base. I got loads of upgrades I need to do, but also, and maybe more importantly, I need to be better with that strategy. So definitely looking forward to that. If you guys any, have any tips or tricks on how to make this strategy work even better with the Yetis and such, let me know in the comments, post those below. Um, and, uh, yeah, that would be absolutely amazing. So guys, that's all for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. Uh, and to obviously join the hashtag Klaus family there at the top right hand side of your screen. Don't forget to check out my second YouTube channel, Klaus Media, for other games and videos. And lastly, be sure that you're supporting a content creator using the creator boost. Uh, go to more settings after you click the gears, go to the very bottom and type in code Klaus. If you want to support me, if you want to support somebody else, Go for it. That would be awesome. Uh, just make sure that you're doing it and double check and make sure before you make any in-game purchases that it's set because it does disappear every seven days. Once again, guys, that's all for me. Remember that I love each and every one of you and I will see you all again next time.